It's been four years in the making, but construction is finally underway on Calhoun County's newest school. Bluntstown Elementary School was damaged beyond repair during Hurricane Michael. As News 13's Jay Coulter tells us the students have been scattered all over the county, but not for much longer. It is vital that we get these kids back together uh, for our community and, and their sake as well. So we, we're, we're extremely excited. Almost four years after Hurricane Michael, school officials and students turned shovels Wednesday morning on the new Bluntstown Elementary School. The old campus was declared a total loss after the storm. Behind me are the remnants of the pre-K wing of the old Bluntstown Elementary School before demolition started around a month ago. After the storm, the elementary students were spread out over as many as four different locations. Kindergarten and first graders are now learning at a campus made up entirely of portables. Principal Jonetta Dawson is anxious to have all the students back in one centralized location. Um, this will be beneficial not only for the faculty and staff, but also for parents. Um, parents that have students at both of our campuses, you know, that's a lot of running back and forth. Um, our lunchroom ladies, they have been busing uh, back and forth. We have a van and they carry both breakfast and lunch back and forth every single day. State grants are covering almost all of the $30 million project. $2 million is locally funded. The new building will boast 35 classrooms. We see this one as kind of, you know, the final step in trying to put back the district uh, and our facilities and getting our students and instructional situations back whole again. So it, we, we're extremely excited about this project. Uh, and, and I think it is kind of a statement of you know, we're, we're finally getting back. In Bluntstown, Jay Coulter, News 13, Panhandle Strong. School officials are hoping the new building will be open in time for fall of 2024.